cameraman, cameraman. Eyes are up here. What is going on, guys? Thank you for being here. Even though I am bulking right now, I have noticed that my ab development is getting a lot better. So in this video, I wanted to give you the three things that I have personally done to make that happen. I have gotten both stronger and leaner over the last few months, which is kind of challenging to do. So I want to pass along some information to you. You're going to see the last week of my life. We got some vlog. We got some tips. We have an all around great video. So please drop this video a like if you enjoy it. I'd really appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and enjoy my friends. All right guys, so this is the best chili that I've had in my life. Of course, I didn't make it. Megan made this up in the crock pot. I'm going to leave that recipe linked down below. I will guarantee, I guarantee you, I will forget. So someone please remind me. This is so good. We use or organic grass-fed beef. Everything in this is just perfection. And honestly, the reason this bulk has gone so well is because Megan has fed me such high quality food. So if I'm making any gains, you gotta give it up to cameraman. And I would have to say that this has been the most successful bulk that I have had in my young 30 years on this earth, even though I have not gone over 180 pounds, which is pretty crazy. This time last year, I was 195. I was a little chunker, wasn't I? I'm getting stronger week by week, so that's what I'm really focused on. And there's a few reasons I really think it has been so successful in addition to Megan keeping my nutrition on point, even though I am a big proponent of if it fits your macros when it comes to weight gain and weight loss. I think there's something to be said about the quality of food and performance and I believe I'm reaping the benefits of that. If you guys remember when I lived alone, the foods I would eat, especially after a long day of work, were a little bit questionable. Those poverty dinners, probably not the best, um, but I'm doing a lot better now, thanks to this one back here. So we're gonna show you our collection over here. One is a collection of P Science products, which you can always use Travis to save 15% off. If you really wanna increase your bulk, you're gonna to wanna to pick up a few things. We could talk about that a little bit later, but what I really opened this cabinet up for, believe it or not, was the tea, which has been our nightly ritual. This is my favorite, the sweet cinnamon spice. Megan goes with some more of the hippy dippy ones over here, berry detox, and what is the other one, ginger? And we all know the only thing better than dinner number one is dinner number two. So here we have three whole eggs, and this is what I'm talking about, guys. Just look at these Vital Farms eggs. Look how yellow and rich they look. They're, they are worth the extra money. Trust me, they're delicious. They taste much better. In this bowl, we have 80 grams of oatmeal with two scoops of the cake pot protein powder. I like to make my oatmeal thick like so, so after it cools down a little bit, you can see it almost gets like a little bit cakey. I love that. And then we have our tea. What's great about tea is that it's, all, it's an appetite suppressant as well as it just helps with digestion at the end of the night. It helps settle your stomach. So this is what we've been ending our nights with, and it's been heavenly, my friends. Far right side, resistance. You show the knob in the center of that right. Now turn it to the left, makes that resistance lighter. Turn it to the right, will make that. So number two might be surprising to some, but on this bulk, I have implemented more cardio than ever before. And you know, the main reason I started implementing this was really due to losing my dad this past summer. He passed away from sudden cardiac arrest after a bike ride with his biking group on the 4th of July. And this was a real wake up call for me in many ways. It made me start to look at cardio in a much different light. And even though my goal isn't to lose weight right now, I really wanna take care of my cardiovascular health first and foremost. My dad and I were very different people. We didn't share many common interests, but biking was one of those things that we both always enjoyed. So I chose the bike as my form of cardio because it feels as if I'm almost honoring him in a way every time that I ride. And that's a really good feeling. I'm also really lucky that my apartment complex has this Peloton bike, which I love. It has a personal trainer already built in so you can follow along with the workouts and they're pretty brutal. I typically do at least two 45 minute rides a week on my off days, burning anywhere from 300 to 450 calories per ride. I highly recommend the Peloton if you have access to one. 
while burning off calories isn't necessarily my fitness goal right now, I think the long-term implications for my heart health are much more important. I've also noticed better ab development since I started as it's a pretty great core workout. And since I'm only training legs once a week right now, it has been a great addition to my bulk and has not hindered recovery. And I would highly recommend trying it out whether you're bulking, cutting, maintaining. I think it's just a good practice overall to implement. Oh, look, here it is. Good to see you, cameraman. You know how cold it is outside? It's like 12 degrees. And once again, cameraman coming in clutch with an amazing dinner. So we have some lemon pepper chicken, some chipotle chicken, and the most perfectly roasted potatoes in the entire world. I don't know how she does it. How do you do it? How do you do it? The people want to know. Good morning, my friends. I want to give a very special thank you to a clothing company called Michael Edwards. They sent me out some dress shirts, and I love the way they fit. As you can see, they're very tailored. They have a thinner cut, and what I like about this is they're made for people that lift. So if you're having a hard time trying to find shirts that fit you because you're too busy making gains, definitely check them out. I'm really impressed with the quality of these shirts. There's nothing better than going to work with a fresh new shirt. I love this new suit. You can see we got a little bit fancy over here got ourselves a custom suit but it's just a such such a great feeling so I'm gonna put all their information down below and highly recommend you guys check them out I gotta get out of here guys I'm running late So Megan has us doing a sound bath. What, what's the reason for that again? <laughs> Please tell us. To cleanse the energy in our apartment. To cleanse the energy of the apartment. Did it work? I feel like the energy is good right now. Yeah, so sound bath, Google it. But to move into some pre-workout fuel, what I'm having is three chocolate rice cakes. We are using the Cake Pop Pea Science Select Protein as sludge with some banana and a honey drizzle. What I have historically done a terrible job of is pre-workout nutrition during the week. I tend to go fasted. And what I found is I would just run out of energy throughout about the middle of the workout and it wasn't optimizing my performance. So with this, what I'm going for are some simple and some complex carbohydrates trying to get different release times, really just to fuel me through. And not to mention, it tastes delicious. We're gonna share a top secret with y'all. So, you guys know I love the PE Science Select Cafe. Add it to my coffee, makes you feel like a million bucks. You never need coffee creamer ever again. So here is what we have been doing lately. So instead of mixing this up and pouring it in the coffee, what I do first is I actually put it in this beautiful frother over here, which I'm sure you can get these all over the place. We got this for free with an espresso. And just what it does is it almost makes it kind of like a latte consistency. So I'm just gonna put it in there and it will, I don't know what other word other than froth it up, make it all warm and delicious. It's just a nice little added step. When you mix, Kevin Gates and caffeine, you know you are going to have the most incredible workout of all time. And I keep getting comments from people that are new to the channel asking, wonder, wondering why I drink coffee through a straw. First, it was the environmentalist that hated that I was using plastic straws, so I got a metal one. Now it's people just like, why are you drinking? I'm like, dude, why do you care? Maybe I don't want stained teeth. Anyway, that's besides the point. My training lately has been as good as it, is, as it has probably been since college, since graduate school when I was really focused in on optimizing everything. And the reason for that is because I'm finally on a proper program and I'm doing something that's suitable for my life. So you guys know there for a few years I was doing powerlifting, which nowadays is just not going to work. I'm old, I'm beat up, I'm injured, and honestly, 
I just don't prioritize my time towards the gym as much as I do other aspects. When I was doing powerlifting, those workouts would take me like three hours plus sometimes. And you guys, if you've done it before, you know how that goes. Nowadays, you know, I have a very demanding job, which I love and I would much rather put my time, effort and energy into that uh, rather than, you know, spending all my free time at the gym. And also I got Megan at home, so I don't want to not see her all weekend. You know, we're busy enough throughout the week. So the workout program that I am running right now is created by my good friend Rocky, who you guys saw in a lot of my videos back in Austin. And it is a four day split. It has three upper body days and one lower body day. And every five weeks or so, we reevaluate, we add volume, we take things away. I leave it up to him. He is the master, but it has been so much fun and I've seen great results. I was really worried about only working out four days a week, but with my commute time and with everything going on in life, it has been awesome, especially now that I am incorporating two days of cardio, so I'm still getting to the gym. It's just not all weight training. I didn't want to work legs twice a week. I wanted to focus more on upper body where I need more muscular development. And for myself, in my circumstances, this has been the proper program. I think that's going to change for everyone depending on what stage you are in life. But if you're interested in something like this, let me know and I will talk with Rocky. Like I said, he actually does coach other individuals. We'll see what we can release to all of you guys. He might want to hook you up. I don't know. I don't just want to put every detail out there in case, you know, he wants to make some dollar dollar bills for Rocky Jr. But anyway, this program has been incredible. My training has been on point lately. And overall, guys, I'm feeling strong. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling lean. It's just, uh, it's just working right now. It's all about the journey. It's all about the journey, baby. Ain't nothing changed but the weather. The dangling carrot that hang from the rear view. Uh -huh. Your dreams in the past ain't nowhere near you. Backseat drivers got nothing but two cents. Shotgun riders too biased, they all liars. I should get an A for effort, I'm too tired. But I'm never giving up, that's why I'm kinda admired. Role model, like it or not, I gotta play it. Sugarcoat the rhyme sometimes, but still say it. Said I was quitting at 40, it's just a fib. I'm still a kid that's wiping the food off of my bib. You ever wanted something so bad that you could taste it? Cried over every opportunity wasted yeah. good and bad news which one all right guys first? workout is over and me and Meg are headed to a place called Viva chicken I've never taken you there it is a Peruvian chicken joint I believe I think if I am not mistaken and it is absolutely delicious you can buy a whole chicken which sounds pretty great after that high volume workout So I got a half chicken, which that is a big old bird right there. I got these are called yuca. Still not entirely sure what that is, but just want to try something new. We got some fruit. Megan got soup, chicken, and green beans. That looks incredible. But like I say, man. Check this, guys. This is what happens when your girlfriend doesn't check the mailbox for two hours. What in the world is all this? Ooh. Those are nice. I'm calling Meg out. These are actually for me. What do you guys think about these black boots? Can I rock these? Are they going to be fresh? Okay, guys. We are going to call that a video. I really hope everyone learned something or was, was entertained. I really want you to come into these videos and get something out of it and not feel like you wasted your time. So I hope that was true. The last thing I wanted to mention was tracking macros. So I'm very loosely tracking right, right now. I am making sure to eat to satiety for sure. One of the things I am not doing is restricting my food at all. If I want to eat something, I'm going to eat something because I am fueling my performance, but I'm also not going completely overboard. I'm not eating chocolate cake every single day. As I spoke about in the beginning of the video, I am eating quality foods, which is absolutely helping my satiety. Because what I have noticed, I think we all know the people, some people or a group of people that really obsess over every single macronutrient. But when I start to think about the big picture, and I think about the people that obsess over training and the people that obsess over counting macros, I would say, and this is just my opinion, the people that obsess over training, those are the people that I'm aspiring to look like. Not so much the people that obsess over counting every calorie. Typically, I think that gets into a whole nother realm of, you know, that'd be a subject for another video. 
but I say all that to say tracking macros a little bit. Most days, weekends, not so much. It's been fun. Again, I hope you guys really got something out of this video. Please drop it a like if you enjoyed it. I'd really appreciate that and subscribe to the channel if you are new. You guys could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please drop it a like, as I mentioned, and I look forward to talking to you guys next time.